Hi, I am Tofik, a software developer. Today, I will show you how to turn any web application into single page application within two minutes after using my jQuery plugin. In my demo, I will apply this plugin to a Node.js Express project. If I click any link of this application, you can see that the whole browser is refreshing. If I click new pin, the whole browser is refreshing. And if I search anything, the browser is still refreshing. Let's click new pin and try to submit this form. Let's give title, description, and select an image. If I submit this form, the whole browser is refreshing. You can see that. Even if I delete this pin, the browser refreshing. If I click backward and forward button, the results are the same. So let's turn this application into a single page application within two minutes. First of all, need to create a folder, uh, spa, you can give this name and place all my jQuery plugin source file here. Let's open in Explorer, go to this directory here, need to place my plugin source files. Need to find out my plugin source. Spa. These are the files. Let's copy all this file he Paste it here. So This file you will get from this course Let's add few functionality in the middleware app.use and the callback function. This function will work in every time before going to a function. So this will be invoked every time. Next, so that it can pass after executing. So here I am declaring that locals global variable Ajax. This can be accessed from anywhere. And the Ajax I am specifying request.xasr the if true or false that means if ajax request then true otherwise false and here i am specifying response set header to set the header location and the header name is location and the value is url go to layout.ajax file here I am writing few if else condition. Here, if Ajax we will get this value from the server, then do something and else to show the rest of the content. Percentage. So cut this portion and paste it at the end of this file. Now, wrap this body render body section with div tag and give an ID Tofik Ilahi. First of all, let's copy this render body and place it inside if condition. If Ajax request, only that time the render body section will be invoked. And if not, then rest of the HTML tag element will be invoked. Let's copy this script and link section. Here, this is jQuery Slim. We need jQuery plugin. This is jQuery CDN. Need to copy this portion and paste it here. Just replace it.
let's copy this portion script and link and paste it at the bottom of this div place it here here we need to specify my plugin jquery file the plugin here is pa slash tofik ilahi is pa dot js let's copy this portion of the source file and place it inside href and the extension will be dot css this is the css file let's write jquery code this is the jquery document ready state here we need to call the function of this plugin so copy this id and this id selector we need to specify with the function of my plugin so my function is tofik is pa that's it so we are done this will be invoked from this plugin let's see the demo refresh okay first of all need to copy this entire script and place it here because integrity will not work with this version and crossword is in anonymous okay we are done let's refresh the whole page now if i click any link you can see that only partial section is updating and the url is updating also if i search this is working as well let's submit this form description choose a image if i submit this form only partial portion is updating if i delete only partial portion updated if i click new pin save pins everything is working if i click backward and forward button the render section the updating as well and the url portion is updating correctly let's see the final demo of this project click new pin save pins pins details page is saved check save pins you can see this new pin let's submit this form description username let's choose an image submit is scrolling down already added let's delete delete this one so all pin organized nicely let's let's edit this pin so edited let's search this pin list let's five so the title contents with five already displayed let's click backward and forward button so everything is working as expected pins set pins close this left panel is scrolling down hi I am Tofik, a software developer. Today, I will show you how to turn any web application into single page application within two minutes after 
using my jQuery plugin. In my demo, I will apply this plugin to a .NET Core project. Let's download a sample project. I already downloaded the project from this link. Let's run the project. Let's add left navigation bar to this application to look beautiful. After adding sidebar, the application looks like this. Now, if I click any link of this application, you can see that the whole browser is refreshing. Let's submit a form. If I submit any form, the whole browser is still refreshing. Let's click backward and forward button. Results are the same. Let's turn this application into single page application within 2 minutes. First of all, add my jQuery plugin and all necessary files. Then go to layout.cshtml file and add this plugin at the end of the body tag. Now write jQuery code to call the function of this plugin. This ID selector must match with the parent ID of the render body. Let's modify viewstar.cshtml file. Here, if Ajax request, then the content will not be cached on browser. If not Ajax request, then the master page will be invoked. I am done. Let's run the project and enjoy the magic show. Now, if I click any link of the application, you can see that only render body section is updating. Look at the browser URL. It is updating correctly as well. Let's submit a form. If I submit any form, then only render body section is updating. Let's check backward and forward button. This is the documentation of my plugin. Let's apply first rule. Go to a student's index page. After clicking this create new link, I want to show its content at the bottom of this page. Let's achieve this. Let's write div tag with a specific ID selector. Now write Ajax target attribute inside create new link and put the ID selector here. Let's see the demo. Now if I click create new link, the content will be showed below. Let's submit this form row already added to this table. Single page application is responsible for reducing load pressure and load time on both server and client side. Let's prove this. Go to instructor page and click select link. Here entire render body section is updating. But we want only second table to update. Let's achieve this. Split this action method into three action methods. Let's create underscore index1.cshtml and underscore index2.cshtml file. Let's move second table to the underscore index1.cshtml file. and third table to underscore index2.cshtml file.
let's specify Ajax target attribute to the select link button. Done. Let's see the demo. Now, if I click select link, only the second table is updating. In this way, we can improve the performance on both server and client side. Let's see the final demo. Go to student's page. Let's add a student. Row added. Let's update this row. Row updated. Let's delete this row. Row deleted. Now click details link. This table shows all courses of the student. Let's add course to this student. Let's remove course. Go to course page. Let's add multiple courses and update multiple rows as well. Let's delete courses. Go to instructor page and play with the select link button. Go to department page. Let's add a department. Let's update the record as well. Let's delete it. Let's see everything in one page. Click students and course button. Click instructor button. Now department. Let's add a student, row added. Let's update this row, row updated. Let's delete this row, row deleted. Now click details link. Let's add course to this student. Let's remove course. Go to course page. Let's add multiple courses and update multiple rows as well. Let's delete courses. Play with the select link button. Go to department page. Let's add a department. Let's update the record as well. Let's delete it.